Double murder kills Kapel Dio Gangadin escaped from the Lusignan prison today while in the quarantine section of the East Coast Damarai facility. Director of Prisons Nicolan Elliott said the escape occurred sometime around 4 or 5 this morning after a routine check was conducted. According to a statement from the prison service, initial investigations revealed that Gangadin had tampered with the housing unit. Upon gaining entry from the housing unit, he ventured to the back of the prison where he used a cloth pole to scale the fence. He proceeded into the farms where he scaled the gate and made good his escape into the dump site, the prison service report said. The COVID-19 protocols are the prison mandates that new inmates undergo a COVID-19 test and place in quarantine for a period of seven days before being released into the general population. Gangadin was remanded to prison on October 20th for the murders of Straspe, East Coast Damara businessman Chris Passod and fisherman Mukesh Mangar, which occurred in January of 2020. Mangar was found motionless at college in on the east coast of Demerara with multiple stab wounds, while Chris Passod, a 21-year-old businessman, was stabbed to death during a robbery at his family's business place, these on electronics as trust pay on the east coast of Demerara by the suspect on October 15th. The suspect took the man's gold chain in the process. He was caught with a stolen item hours after the stabbing death of Passod. Gangadin was expected back in court on January 17, 2022. The joint services have since commenced a search for the escapee. The Guyana Prison Service is asking anyone knowing the whereabouts of the escapee to contact the nearest police station or call 911. Having problems sleeping at night? Well, worry no more. Comfort Sleep mattresses are simply the best. Comfort Sleep provides quality products, factory fresh, and better value. With every purchase you make, you become part of our family and help to fulfill the need of the less fortunate. Comfort Sleep, as part of their corporate duty, provides meals for over 500 children in regions 3, 4, and 6, three times a week. This, among other charitable events, year-round is part of our mandate. What are you waiting for? Keep the dream going. Be part of this great family. Comfort Sleep, Eccles Industrial Estate, East Bank, Demerara. Telephone 233-3013 or 233-2657. Email comfortsleep49 at gmail.com. The Ministry of Agriculture invites you to join, in celebration of Agriculture Month 2021, a mostly virtual, month-long series of activities and events showcasing Guyana's development on the agriculture front, under the theme, Transforming Our Food Systems, Achieving Food and Nutrition Security. It all begins Friday, October 1st with a virtual opening program set for 10 hours, broadcast on television and streamed on all social media platforms. Key events for Agriculture Month include virtual tours and exhibitions showcasing the work of the various agencies and stakeholder groups in promoting and facilitating the development of agriculture in Guyana. The annual Caribbean Week of Agriculture is set for October 4-8 under a virtual setting. On October 16th, there will be a virtual presentation to mark World Food Day 2021, which is being observed under the theme, Our Actions Are Our Future. Better production, better nutrition, better environment, and better life. Agriculture Month 2021, a COVID-safe look at agriculture on the move to a bright and prosperous future. Look for a detailed schedule of events on local broadcast, print and social media platforms. Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony today reported that 139,000 people are still to return for the second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. The minister made the announcement during his daily COVID-19 update. 
So when you look at how much person got their first dose and how much got their second dose, there's a difference of 139,000 people. So there's still a lot of people who need to come back to get their second dose vaccine. In terms of second dose vaccination for adults, we are currently at 241,211 persons who would have received their second dose of the vaccine. Uh, that's approximately 47% of our adult population. Uh, when we do the regional breakdown, so Region 1, they have a coverage of those who got their first dose. 40%, uh, 40.4% 40 of them came back to get their second dose. Of those who in Region 2 got their first dose, 39.2% of them came back for their second dose. Uh, region 3, 44.7%. Region 4, 53.7%. Region 5, 47.5%. Region 6, 47.2%. Region 7, 42.4%. Region 8, 32%. Region 9, 51.2%. And Region 10, 17.7%. So, before you can get a second dose, you have to get a first dose. So this, these numbers are reflective of a, the percentage of persons who got their first dose and now came back for their second dose. The message appealing to Guyanese to come and get vaccinated. vaccinated. When I refer to November, I'm talking about the end of November. So we still have a few more days, not a lot of days, but we still have a few more days to ensure that people come and get their second dose. The challenge that we have is that you have a number of persons who got first dose AstraZeneca. And we currently have the second dose available to them. If they don't come, and by the end of November, if these vaccines then expired, then we don't have any in stock. We'll have to wait until we uh, get another shipment or we purchase another shipment and that would be a pity because we had the vaccines and if people don't come and take it and they expire then you know we'll have to look at other options and that's very unfortunate because if you get the vaccine you want to make sure that people use it so that they can protect themselves a 34-year-old hire car driver and a 16-year-old juvenile are in custody as the police in Bobby's probe the robbery of an overseas-based Guyanese. The robbery, according to the police, occurred on October 25th at Number 73 Village, current in Bobby's. The police have also claimed that the 16-year-old has confessed to the robbery, while a third suspect is being sought. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website at www.rdproductionsty.com.